Hi, Kelly Clement here from Metastock. In this video, I'll be introducing you to OptionScope. OptionScope is our newest power tool designed to help you analyze and understand options. With OptionScope, you're able to quickly identify things like option volatility, the Greeks. You're able to sort, scan, rank, filter. So there's a lot we're going to be able to do and show you right inside of OptionScope. So let's go ahead and dive right in and show you what it's capable of. So OptionScope is great for analyzing options. And obviously options are a big part of a lot of traders' lives. So we wanted to be able to provide a tool to help you get to the options that you want to trade quickly and analyze them. So here's a lot of what you can do. Again, let's just go ahead and jump right into to OptionScope so we can review it. And then we'll come back and review kind of some of the features here at the end. So what we're going to do, I've already have Apple typed up here. This is the security we're going to analyze in, in option scope. So we type in the symbol that we want. If you don't know the symbol, you can actually come down to your list. So I say I could come down to my demo list and select Apple and I can do it that way too. So there's two ways to open up uh, from there. Now, before I open up option scope, it actually gives me a few ways to pre-filter the data, if you will, before we open it. So we're going to select open up any expiration within the next 365 days. We're going to limit down to uh, options within 15% of the strike price. And then we're not going to say whether we want weekly, monthly, quarterly. Let's just open them all and then we'll filter from there. So once I have all those set, I can hit option scope and it will bring up my data and allow me to start working with my options. So let's go ahead and take a look here what's going on in option scope. So let's actually talk about the filters on the side first before we get to the grid over here. So these are the filters that we were just working with in the Power Console, kind of giving us a pre-filter look of what we were looking at. So you can see I've got anything selected within the next 365 days right here. Let's go ahead and maybe narrow that down so we don't have so many options here. You can see there's quite a few. Let's just uh, say I want 1115 of, of uh, 2019. So that brings me down a little bit as far as the number of options I'm looking at. Again, I still have 15% for the strike price selected. And then I don't need to select what kind of expiration type filter I have because I'm looking at a specific date, but you could say I want weekly options or monthly options. And then you can rank by in the money and out of the money. But let's talk about the grid here first before we talk about in the money and out of the money. So what we have here with the grid is we have this left-hand side that is calls. And then if we scroll over here, you can see puts on the right. Let's actually take our filter down here a little bit so we can see it. So we have calls over here, puts over here. And then as the data goes in, what we have here are the Greeks, first of all. So the Greeks are very important in being able to analyze and look at time decay with our options. Now, we're not going to go into Greeks and what they all mean here. This is a high-level overview, but we will have other videos that will show you what the Greeks are and how to use the Greeks. But uh, for now, you know that the Greeks are included. They are auto-calculated for you. There's nothing you have to do to calculate the Greeks. The only thing that you can do is over here, you can change the dividend yield and percentage rate for row. Uh, and that's available for you to change. But typically it comes in right from the data feed. You don't have to do anything there. So it's auto calculated. So we have our Greeks here, and then we have implied volatility, open interest, volume, net change, percent change, last bid and ask. So here in the middle, we have our expiration date, which we chose of 1115, and then our strike price. Okay, so all this is built in so you can pull it up. Now, one of the things that we're looking at here is I'm actually looking at Metastock RT right now, which is our real-time platform, and all the data comes in from Metastock Zenith. So one of the things we are actually just launching with Metastock 17 is options data for end of day. So starting with Metastock 17, we'll have U.S. equity options for Metastock 17 that's available. So you can do this in either end of day or our real-time product, which is awesome. So this is the first time we'll have options uh, analysis available inside Metastock. Now, one of the really unique things that we can do inside Option Scope is actually open charts of options. So one thing that's nice about uh, security like Apple is 
the volumes are heavily traded. So we can actually double click on this and we can see this whole option from the inception of when it was traded. And we can run analysis on this. We could put moving averages on it. We could put expert advisors on it. We could do whatever we wanted with this, just like any other chart but we can analyze it as an underlying security. So you can see each of these, if I were to show you here, you can see it's the Apple, uh, and you can see what the actual uh, symbol is. We can see Apple, November 9th, 225. So this is actually a great way to analyze your options and actually looking at the chart data of the option to see its past performance. So that's one unique thing that you can do. Another unique thing that you can do with option scope is I can come in here and I can just drag and copy these symbols, highlight these symbols, right click on them and go to copy clipboard. Now what that does for me is it actually allows me to go back over to the power console and you can see here we have this custom list button. So you can go right to custom lists, we can go new online instruments and I can say my demo options and I can add my options into a watch list in Metastock. So we can actually chart these or pull them up in Quote Center. So if I hit close, now, we'll, now you see in my custom list, let's minimize this, you can see my demo options right here. So a couple things I could do now. One, I could go to Quote Center and I could view these in Quote Center. So if I wanted to bring them up in Quote Center on a daily basis as a watch list, I could go to the Explorer. I could scan that list for, say, volume moves or something of that nature. I could back test them if I had some technical criteria that I wanted to run against them. So there's a lot you could even forecast on them. So depends on the length of the options data that you have, but those are now new things that you have available to you that have never been before offered on options data is this ability to run all these high-level technicals right on them. So just to show you an example, we'll go ahead and open them up in Quote Center. We'll just go ahead and click My Demo Options. And you can see it'll bring up the options with the symbol name, and you can see all that same data right there. But it's in it from a watch list now, rather than um, having to go to, to Option Scope each time and pull them up. So it's a great way to tie all those tools together and bring them together into one awesome tool. So this will really help you in getting to that options data that you want to analyze very quickly, hone in on your options, and identify the best ones to trade. Just to recap, so view chains for any optional instrument in RT. So with RT, you'll be able to do any global option that's available uh, because Zenith is able to offer all that data. Also futures data, uh, if it has an option on it, you can, you can bring up the option scope for that. For end of day, we are going to be, as I said, uh, bringing up in U.S. optionable equity data, which will be available with uh, Metastock 17. So you'll be able to view those put calls, net change, percent change, bid ask, all that data. The Greeks, which is a big thing to have inside your quote screen. If you don't have those, you're missing out on a lot of data. And again, we'll have videos on what all those Greeks mean if you want to learn more about them. So you can sort by any of those filters. So if I had something that I wanted to sort on one of the columns, if I wanted to look for rank on gamma or delta, you can rank on any of these columns simply by clicking or double clicking to sort and rank. And then we have uh, the filters that we've talked about where you could filter on strike, expiration type, in and out of the money, at the money, and Greeks. Now the last thing I will show you in option scope is the coloring in here. So the coloring, basically blue means that you're at the money and gray means you're out of the money. So that's what, it's a quick way to delineate between in the money and out of the money. If I wanted to only show the options that are in the money, I can choose the in the money filter and that will just highlight the ones that are in the money or I can switch to out of the money. So it makes it easy to highlight which ones you really want to focus on. If you're an out of the money trader or an in the money trader, you can quickly identify which ones work best for you by doing that. So as you've seen in Option Scope, it's able to do a lot. We're able to quickly pull up your option lists. We're able to sort, scan, rank, and filter based off of different criteria. You're able to view the Greeks. You're able to pull that data in and chart it. You're able to scan it. There's a wealth of features included inside of OptionScope. This is a powerful new tool, and I hope it helps you in your trading, and I wish you successful trading.